They should have put Priest with Rhea Ripley, and they should have put Dominic with uh, uh, Selena Vega. Hmm. That's what they should have done. She should have been the girlfriend who was in his ear, turning him against his dad. Hmm. That that's a perfect couple right there. And date now, Damian Priest, Rhea Ripley together. I buy those two together. Bro, come on. The, the the demon was the only thing that was over yeah. because it looked cool. And, and even when he started wrestling as the demon, when he was actually wrestling at the demon, it lost his luster because yeah. it was Finn Balor with makeup. Exactly. You know, the entrance yeah. and everything. Oh, 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 and then, yeah. okay, that's Finn Balor with makeup. Now, would you be open to, because the demon was more like an alter ego type of a dark but he was still a babyface style character i don't I, I didn't get the heel demon too much but do you do you do demon finn no because right now that that means nothing yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean I just, that means I just, nothing I, now i think it's i rather like to me there's still more money in demon finn than finn didn't just i agree with you bro, I, he, he, no, bro, he, he, Here's the here's the bottom line. This is really the bottom line, bro. When you got a when you got a guy the size of Finn, and you have Vince McMahon, Finn ain't going nowhere, bro. Bro, you gotta understand. Shawn Michaels went places because Shawn Michaels got up in Vince McMahon's face. Correct. Shawn Michaels would tell Vince to f off, and in a weird kind of way, Vince respected yeah, that, bro. Right. You gotta rise but, up. But yeah. when you got Finn Balor, what what do you think Vince McMahon is gonna do with a Finn Balor, bro? Chew him out and and, and poop him for dinner, man. Like, yeah, and and it's the same thing, bro. With guys like you know Sammy and Owen, they're at their pinnacle right yeah. now. They're never going. If they were gonna go beyond that, then both of them would have beaten Roman Reigns for sure. Yeah, that was it, bro. Once they came up, yeah. Once they came up to Roman and Roman defeated both yeah. of them. All right, we're gonna put you guys over here now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I just, I mean, I, I like Finn. I, I, I want Finn. You know, I want the best for him, but I just don't. I, this Judgment Day thing, and it's, it's just, it's, it's the shelf life is getting stale, man. I just, I, I just don't see it, man. What, what do you think? What, what do you think could happen with Finn? I mean, like, because because essentially, if he does win, he'll he'll be a two time world champion. You know what I mean? So at least he can have that much, even if he you know changes the right, he, he loses the right to to priest. What happens with Finn ultimately in all this, man? Just bro, period. Can, really. Bro, can can we just be totally honest here? Yes, Finn is Finn, Finn should be in NXT. Again, I mean, come on, bro. He, he I, bro, he's not gonna draw three people in, in the W. Uh, come on, bro. It, it, it is what it is. I yeah. mean, it is what it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, um, he was in NXT, you know, of course, he was in Japan with, with, with Bullet Club, and he, he did very well there. Um, he, he was so he did so well that he got you know recruited to the WWE via NXT. He did. He did exceptional in NXT. Came to the main roster in 2016. Had the injury, came back, and just, I mean, he never really got his bearings, man. Yeah. And, you know, did some mid-card stuff. Did some inter- I mean, he, he beat uh, Bobby Lashley. You know, he was the demon uh, at uh, WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. But still stayed in the mid-card for a while. And then he was, he was so in the mid-card and not really – doing much that they brought him back to nxt he had a, a short heel run the fans still liked him he turned back babyface but then they brought him back to the main roster and i was when i brought him back to the main roster i'm like okay so what like what's the difference he's just going to be the same mid card fin yeah. you know mid fin you know what i mean because mid-fin, and and then bro <laughs> yeah. they, they they put them to get you know they they put judgment day together Bro, there's no string of unity there. Correct. It's like, what? Why are these people there? Like, bro, the four horsemen. Yeah. 
Okay, bro, those guys should have been together. DX, yeah. those guys were meant. NWO, those guys were meant. Why, why we, and, and they never told us. They no. never told us of a bond. A, why are they called Judgment Day? Why do they have all the satanic references and then you know what why is Rhea Ripley like even goth but yeah. <laughs> Dominic is Eddie Guerrero Jr. and yeah. oh my god bro it's like there's there's nothing there with that bro indeed you know Ed started Judgment Day because he was recruiting the um the castaways so to speak in the WWE to reinvigorate their character that was the 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 the, the plot of, of Judgment Day, and then you know he was he basically said that you know he was saying that I'm coming to get, you know recruit you and we're going to cast judgment upon you know the WWE because me as the leader or I'm going to reinvigorate your career essentially. So Priest came, uh, and then you know Finn. Uh, Dominic, you know, he 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 did he did it afterwards actually because he was he turned on Ray, but it was like a priest and Rhea. It was Edge, Priest and Rhea, both all you know, Priest and Rhea were two people who career was floundering a bit that they uh, kind of reinvigorated their career. With Dominic joining, it was he was upset at his dad, so he joined Judgment Day and became. The lap dog of, of Bro, you know what they should have done. He, he, here's what they should have done. Here's what because because Finn, the the little leprechaun accent and crap, like what what get get, get him out of here. Mm. This is what they should have done. They should have put, put Priest with Rhea Ripley, and they should have put Dominic with uh, uh, Selena Vega. Mm. That's what they should have done. She should have been the girlfriend who was in his ear turning him against his dad hmm. that that's a perfect couple right there and date now damian priest Rhea ripley together i buy those two together mm -hmm. but the finn and dominic aspect it it doesn't fit if they would have went that route bro bro come on how many how many times bro do you have the jealous girlfriend because you know the 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 son idolizes his dad and is always looking up to his dad and you got the girlfriend hey look at me over here right. she would have been the perfect Perfect one, bro. Stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. Yeah. And you would have had a great couple there because him, him and Rhea Ripley is a mishmash. Mommy and that, that yeah. no, bro. That you, this, this was a force. It, From yes. day one, these four people. This is not a puzzle that goes together, bro. Yeah. yeah. And, mean, and you, to your do point, you, do you? To, yeah, right. Chris. To, to your point. There still hasn't been an explanation of why. Absolutely, bro. Remember DX. You know, first, it, you know, it it, it it was Sean Hunter in China. Yep. Then Sean leaves. Now the perfect fit. He brings X Pac in. Yeah. Why? Because they're friends. They go way yes. back. Click. Then they slide the new. This is a puzzle. The pieces, yep. bro. The pieces never fit here with Judgment Day. I ever. agree with you 100 percent because New Age Outlaws were edgy. Triple H was, you know, having a new and improved DX when because Sean was injured during that time. Younger, so younger than NWO. That's what they yeah. were going after. Yeah. Good athletes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Edgy, degenerates. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, the New Age Outlaws already had, they were more of a degenerate style tag team anyways, especially yep. when they were feuding with, the, you know, uh, Chainsaw Charlie yep. and, and uh, um, Actus Jack or Mick Foley. Or, yep. yeah. So, that that fit I mean, it fit perfect in dx but finn and judgment day to this day we don't know why he would join judgment day and it just didn't make sense of how you know that do that uh, he joined there and it makes it even worse with the social media with with Rhea and dom because now because you you even had buddy murphy be a part of it in the socials and you, people know that buddy murphy and Rhea are dating in real life. And you even brought that in there. Buddy's in AEW, so he has nothing to do with the gimmick. But then he tweets about it. And it's just like, what are we doing it's, here, it's man? All, what is this? Uh, yeah. So, it, it, yeah. Agreed, man. But I know what we are, with Vince and I are doing. 
We're having a fantastic time together. As always, this guy right here, Vince Russo. Nice off the frame. I am Dr. Chris. This is Riding with Russo. Have a good night, everybody. Solo.